Hey guys, I'm Dov, and today I'm back with more Total War Warhammer 2 online action. We're here with Volkmar the Grim, gonna be taking the Empire up against the High Elves. This is actually game one of a uh, five-game series that I fought against Janet on occasion on Turin's recent stream. So for those of you who are there, uh, we're gonna be rehashing those games, kind of uh, going into a level of detail on them. And for those of you who did not catch them, you'll be able to uh, watch from my perspective. So. Let's go ahead and kick things off here. This is game number one, so I brought the Empire against the High Elves. Let's take a look at the builds. First and foremost, my army's led by Volkmar the Grim, as you guys saw. We've got a front line of two great swords, Sigmar Sons in the center, and Flagellants out towards the flanks, with a Spearman for support. We've also got Sterling's Revenge, Free Company Militia, as well as the Silver Bullets Handgunners. We've also got one unit of the Royal Altdorf Griffites here, the Regiment of Renowned Demigriff Knights. And a light wizard here who is uh, currently saying hello. He's just got the Nets of Amontok and a Power Stone. And of course, the uh, fun piece de resistance. We've got a Hellblaster Volley Gun. So this thing's pretty good against the High Elves. It's not nearly as cost effective as the Organ Gun. Uh, but it still can do pretty good work against armored infantry. And in this case, it's going to be good against the dragons and, uh, you know, potentially other targets as well. For Janet's build, he's got six units of spearmen. Spearmen are a decent choice against the Empire. It's good to go wide. The High Elves do have a bit of an issue going wide, however. You can see these guys currently getting exploded by those uh, cannonballs there from the Hellblaster Volley Gun. But uh, these guys do have 50 melee defense. Uh, 25 weapon strength is not terrible, so they'll do okay against most low-tier Empire infantry. Uh, anything great swords they'll struggle with. I'd be curious to test them one-on-one -on -one against Flagellants as well to see how that stacks up. But, uh, you know, that one's a little bit more of a give and take just because these guys have such high melee defense. And, of course, Flagellants lack armor and melee defense completely. So it'd be very interesting. He's also got a noble on a uh, horse here. So he, this is the anti-large armor-piercing variant. Great combat stats. A really cost-effective uh, hero choice. He's also got two units of Lothurn Seaguard. Tyrion is his lord astride his mount. Of course, he's got amazing combat stats, better armor-piercing damage in Mortal Empires, lots of other, other stuff to like. He's also got a Lore Master of Hoeth. Uh, let's look at his spell loadout here. He's got Spirit Leech, Melkoth's Mystifying Miasma, and Earthblood. So, very good mix of spells there. And, of course, he also does have two Sun Dragons. So, indeed, going to be uh, fighting up against some Aerial Flying Power here. Probably looking to get some Infantry Roasts as well against some of the Light Armor Empire infantry. Let's go ahead and kick things into full gear. So just doing some uh, firing with the Hellblaster Volleygun in onto the flank here. We're going to switch targets onto these uh, Lothurn Sea Guard because they do pose a bit of a danger to my uh, gunners. And of course my gunners are going to be necessary in taking down dragons and so on. We've dove in Volkmar here to the front line just to tie up a bunch of Janet's forces here in the front. It's going to give me a little extra time of skirmishing. Um, if he chooses to advance with the rest of his force here, he's going to create, you know, asymmetric engagements where I can kind of get him two on one. If he uh, holds up like this, like he's doing, then I get extra time to fire away with this uh, Hellblaster Volley Gun and just do some extra damage. You can see this uh, unit of Lothar and Seaguard just getting absolutely melted by that Hellblaster Volley Gun here. That thing is brutal against infantry, so they're, uh, they're taking an absolute beating from that guy. Meanwhile, over on the far side, a beautiful roast there on that Silver Bullets. Just killed about half the unit. We have been firing away at this one dragon here as it was flying in on the flank. Done about half its HP damage with the Silver Bullets. Just took a nasty, nasty roast there. A lot of them have gone down. I've got my Demigriff Knights on station. Mainline engagements getting underway here. We've got Great Swords fighting the heroic units in the center. Uh, Sigmar Sons are one unit that can stand against Spearmen. They'll do very well in this engagement. And uh, Great Swords, of course, will be able to handle uh, Spearmen relatively easily. We've also got the Spearmen just kind of hanging out on the flanks there. Uh, Flagellants look like they're trading pretty badly due to the uh, support of the Lothurn Sea Guard here. Volkmar is going to be charging in. We've got dragons still flying around in the background here. Uh, looks like these Free Company Militia are going to be firing up into the sky, trying to take this dragon down. This one looks like it's about routed off. It's actually, uh, you know, got maybe 30% HP left. This dragon did come down, destroyed one of the Hellblaster Volley Guns, and is actually routing off the crew currently. 
Meanwhile, mainline fight is still underway here. We've got a Nets of Amontok trapping that dragon down in the back. We're going to be firing at him with the uh, Sterling's Revenge, but another beautiful roast coming down, just devastating those Sterling's Revenge Free Company Militia. They're down to 20 unit models at 700 HP. They're routing off the battlefield, understandably. A beautiful banishment by Volkmar there, just sucking up tons of these great uh, these uh, spearmen here. Did get a few of the great swords as well, but uh, we just devastated that one unit of spearmen. In the center, the uh, great swords have broken through. We're going to be getting into the second line here, charging into these Lothar and Seaguard. You can see the dragon charging down into the back getting on those uh, silver bullets who are firing away at it. The dragons, though, at this point, are, one of them's been routed off, the other one's about half HP. We do indeed have some units regrouping on the side here, so the heroes of the Empire, these spearmen, and this uh, artillery crew here are going to be coming back towards the battle. We're trying to uh, spring the guns loose here. The guns are actually exposed now. We've managed to tear out off those spearmen with the help of the uh, Royal Altorf Griffites there, who have now charged through. We're going to be proudly routing off these spearmen as well. Actually, looks like we're... Uh, Trying to get on Tyrion here. Very nice Melkos mystifying the Asma by that Loremaster there. But we are going to be able to get onto Tyrion and his noble buddy here to help spring Volkmar loose. I need Volkmar to survive this battle. He's getting pretty low, taking quite a beating so far. So uh, we're going to pull away from this battle here. This Sun Dragon is now caught on the ground with these... Uh, these demigriffs here, and the demigriffs, uh, you know, the noble will do very well against them, of course, with this anti-large armor piercing, but you can see he's taking quite a bit of damage in return as well. Volkmar might potentially be getting a terror out also, and now we've got a net just netting all these guys down, preventing this dragon from coming back down to support the battle. We've also got the Hellblaster Volley Gun back online here, going to be taking out some of the units in the periphery here. Uh, before Janet has a chance to regroup them, so these spearmen are about to take a volley in the back there. Look out, boys! Oh, man. I hate how uh, artillery seems to a aim towards the flanks of the unit, especially uh, multi-fire artillery like the Hellblaster Volley Gun. But anyway, over here in this fight, you can see the nobles about routed off by the uh, the Altdorf Griffites here. Tyrion himself fighting valiantly, and uh, the Sigmar's sons also supporting in here. These uh, spearmen have gotten uh, bested by my reserve of Empire spearmen here. Great swords, a bit, a little bit over chasing here. We're gonna bring them back in the battle and just let this one unit of flagellants kind of clean up this grouping here. Meanwhile, over here, this uh, dragon still taking volleys continuously from the Hell Blaster volley gun. We've got uh, Volkmar and some great swords on station. Gonna be trying to spring this uh, <laughs> this light wizard loose. He's currently running away from the lore master. So the Loremaster is going to get uh, knocked over there. He looks like he was trying to pop a Melkos Mystifying Miasma on those Greatswords. But uh, once he stands up and starts getting attacks back on Volkmar, he do will do quite a bit of damage with that Armor Piercing. Uh, hopefully the Greatswords will be able to do some work there. I missed it, but my, uh, my, my opponent, uh, Janet, has been getting some beautiful Sunfangs there. Just roasted about half the Sigmar Suns with one of those Sunfangs. I uh, unfortunately did not catch that, but uh, sounds like another net's going off. Indeed, that dragon is netted down once again. Spirit Leech going down on Volkmar, although he does that have, ma have that magic resistance as well as Grand Shield of Faith up currently, so he's not going to take much damage from that. Hellblaster Volley Guns being super clutch here and helping to finish this dragon off. It's uh, getting some really nice shots at range. The Royal Altor Fire Fights are about done here, but they've managed to do a ton of damage to Tyrion and these uh, and his noble buddy here. So, you know, it's a pretty good trade considering how expensive Tyrion and his noble are. They're probably 4,000 plus resources by themselves. So, uh, uh, you know, 1,500 or 1,800 unit rather in the Royal Altdorf Griffites. Taking these guys down as much as they have is excellent, especially considering they've been getting healed by that uh, Loremaster of Hoeth continuously. This, this unit of Hyle Spearmen managed to regroup, but they are going to get whittled away over time by the greater numbers of the Empire Spearmen there. And now at this point, we're just uh, kiting away from this uh, Loremaster of Hoeth, hoping to get some volleys on him. Fortunately, the Hellblaster Volley Gun is not great at sniping out single entity uh, infantry units, like uh, infantry lords and heroes and so on. It's pretty good against large single model targets, but it's going to struggle to target down something like this. Uh, Janet decides, you know what, enough is enough. He's going to charge straight at me here. We're going to be able to get a volley or two, maybe get some hits on him, but it uh, won't probably be anything too amazing. Yeah, actually looks like clean misses all the way around, so <laughs> a bit unfortunate there. But uh, Volkmar is going to come in here and uh, give him a little boost, <laughs> getting him into the artillery crew here. But uh, Volkmar is basically just trying to continuously knock him over. Loremaster is going to be getting some synchronized decapitations on these uh, Empire troops here, but Volkmar is uh, not having any, any of that. He's going to just run him over continuously. 
Meanwhile, on the on the other side, the Royal Altorf Griffites did shatter off. The Sigmar Sons are just kind of tying up Tyrion for now. He really needs to pull away like this Noble is doing. Uh, if he were to take Tyrion and the Noble together, uh, it would probably be a little bit better. But at this point, Tyrion's just going to squeak, squeak by my infantry here. Of course, he's much, much faster than a lot of other heavy cavalry lords. So a little bit uh, misplayed that angle there, but that's all good. Uh, the last pitched engagement here of what has been a very, very close battle is developing near these Hellblaster volley guns here. We're going to be dropping that uh, Grand Soulfire and the Spearmen here just uh, just trying to finish off uh, Tyrion and his noble buddy. The um, Loremaster of Hoeth actually got terrified by Volkmar. That is one really nice thing about Volkmar on the pimp car is he does cause fear and terror. So very, very strong. The Light Wizard's just about finished off here, but with the support of these uh, Spearmen, of course, their anti-large bonus and the fact that they're uh, relatively fresh. They're uh, very tired compared to Tyrion's exhausted. So <laughs> just one uh, one above. Ooh, looks like some nasty friendly fire there. I believe I was actually manually targeting this guy, trying to just point blank Tyrion. But uh, at this point, the terror from Volkmar is going to be enough to terrify Tyrion and that lore master of Hoeth. And that'll be it. Game. So victory for the Emperor, uh, for the Emperor today. Well played to Janet on occasion. Of course, he does have a YouTube channel as well. I'll leave a link down in the description below. I highly recommend you guys go check him out. For uh, the army breakdown here, 142 kills on great swords up against high elves is awesome. They cut through a unit of uh, spearmen as well as the unit of Lothar and Seaguard with relative ease. Absolute MVPs in this matchup. Royal Altdorf Griffites also doing a lot of damage to the noble and Tyrion, who were otherwise kind of cleaning up shop there. It was absolutely clutch. Hellblaster Volley Gun, 60 kills and helped finish off those dragons. This one dragon got 100 kills with those two just brutal dragon roasts. Pretty much neutered my gun line from the beginning, except for the uh, Hellblaster Volley Gun. They managed to get a little bit of damage done on the dragons, but not a whole lot. They were mostly a non-factor. But uh, the two great swords doing very well. 83 kills on the Sigmar Sons is also great, and 48 on Volkmar himself. For Janet on occasion, 161 kills on Tyrion, had a few great Sunfangs, and just was continually was involved in that infantry battle. Again, 100 kills on that Sun Dragon is amazing. The other one didn't quite pay itself off. 51 kills is still nice. 81 kills on either of the Spearmen is excellent. They uh, they must have cut their way through some flagellants. But uh, the Lothar and Seaguard didn't quite end up paying off for themselves. I think it would have been better to maybe go with the cheaper archers here. But, uh, you know, hindsight's 2020. Very well played to Janet. Hope you guys enjoyed watching that battle. If you like this kind of content, like and subscribe. I'm keeping it coming with more Total War Warhammer 2 content every single day. So stay tuned for more and we'll see you next time.